morning class four welcome to the computer class so till now we have finished chapter number one two three and four today we will be doing unit test one for chapters one and two and unit test two for chapters three and four you will be doing this in your book if you have the book and or else in your notebooks if you do not have the books let's start with unit test 1 first question is tick the correct answer the first calculating device was napier's bones abacus pascaline the answer is abacus question number b a special type of notebook computer which has a touch screen is a tablet pc true and false number 1 herman hollerith is known as the father of the computer this is false who is known as the father of the computer charles babbage the first supercomputer was cray 1 true next is fill in the blanks microcomputers are also known as personal computers P E R S O N A L personal computers next question number b the pc 80 was introduced in when was it developed in 1984 answer the following questions write a short note on analog computer the answer is an analog computer takes different inputs and gives an approximate result after comparison so there are few examples of analog computer they are clinical thermometer voltmeter speedometer fuel gauge and scale machine so i'll be sharing these answers with you once this video finishes next question is write the difference between desktop and laptop computers a desktop computer is designed in such a way that it its all parts fit entirely on a desk or a table we cannot carry desktop from one place to another a laptop or notebook computer is a small lightweight computer that we can easily carry from one place to another so that is the difference between a laptop and a desktop now starting with unit test 2 of chapter number 3 and 4 tick the correct answer speed of a cpu is measured in megahertz gigahertz or both 1 and 2 so the answer is both 1 and 2 a petabyte is equivalent to petabyte is equivalent to 1024 into 1024 gb okay the correct answer is number 1 true and false a byte is the basic storage unit of a computer true computer monitor saves the data and information false monitor does not say the hard disk storage devices the memory okay which saves the data and the information next is fill in the blanks dash is a non volatile memory so which one is a non volatile memory the secondary memory is a non volatile memory and we have two answers for this next is inside the computer there are two memories ram and rom and rom is a non volatile mem- memory okay next is dash uses conditions along with logical operators the correct answer to this the correct answer to this is logical operations use conditions along with logical operators 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज अ सी पी यू सो वी ऑल नो सी पी यू इज द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर ओके और द प्रोसेसर एंड इट इज द ब्रेन ऑफ द कंप्यूटर राइट डाउन द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ए एल यू फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ए एल यू इज अरेथमेटिक एंड लॉजिक यूनिट देन वॉट इज द प्राइमरी मेमरी प्राइमरी मेमरी इज द मेन मेमरी ऑफ द कंप्यूटर इट रिसाइड्स इन द इन द कंप्यूटर ओके इट रिसाइड्स इन द कंप्यूटर एंड द टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्राइमरी मेमरीज आर रैम एंड रॉम नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज अ ब्लू रे डिस्क ड्राइव अ ब्लू रे ड्राइव रीड्स इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोर्ड ऑन CDs, DVDs or Blu-ray discs. I'll be sharing these answers after this video finishes. So with this we finish our unit test टू We all will need to do this in the books or the notebooks. Thank you so much.